Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. So I've been following some uh, bits and bobs on the whole Jake Paul, Tommy Fury situation. Are they finally going to get this fight done? Are they actually going to get in the ring with each other? And let's find out which YouTuber is better. I know Tommy Fury is not officially a YouTuber. He's officially a professional boxer. But hey, what can you do? Hey, officially, I'm a credible news source. Officially, I'm a numpty. Right? Hey, what can you do? Anyway, um, so Tommy Fury saying that to Jake Paul, of course, I'm glad that you've agreed to date, the location. Now let's tell your team to sit around the table and negotiate properly. Don't, don't be hiding behind old contract details and whatever else. Which is kind of ridiculous, considering that last time it was Jake Paul and his team making the offer. So of course that, that, that would be the contract. This time it's Tommy Fury's team, i.e. Queensbury, Frank Warren, making the offer. So all terms are starting again. And that's pretty much what Jake Paul told him. You complete numpty is what Jake Paul is pretty much saying. You know, we can't hide behind any kind of details, old details, because it's your team that's making the offer. Very simple, isn't it? Honestly, I mean, Tommy Fury, he acts like he's made it in life. Like, Jake Paul needs to be sensible in, in the negotiations. No, Tommy, you need Jake Paul. Jake Paul don't need you. Jake Paul can fight anyone. There are 101 people out there willing to fight Jake Paul. But as far as you, Tommy, people want to fight you because they see you as vulnerable. As in YouTubers, Jake Paul, KSI and so, see you as a scalp. Out of all the professional boxers they could possibly look at, they look at you, Tommy. Why is that? Because they see what the rest of us see. But that said, you never know. Maybe Tommy Fury will go in there and ice him. But I did laugh at the uh, commentary from Jake Paul when uh, Tommy Fury had that uh, exhibition round and whatever, when uh, Tommy Fury was uh, fighting too many rounds like chicks. <laughs> Tommy Fury was doing women rounds in his last fight, two minute rounds. And it's an exhibition and of course they're mecking about, but at the end of the day, that's his own fault. He was the one who missed weight, yeah? Hey, the contract shows he actually missed weight, right? Anyway, just unprofessional. Um, but I hope they get this fight over the line. I mean, Frank Warren will know far more than you and I as far as how well Tommy Fury does with eyeballs on the TV or people turning up to the arenas and whatever to watch him fight. We all know, not much. They don't buy tickets to watch him fight. And people are quite happy to wait until a little bit later in the evening, until after Tommy Fury has had his fight, before people start putting on BT Sport to watch the events. Reality. Okay, so Tommy is not a headliner. Of course, it's going to be Jake Paul. He's going to be the one that's going to be putting bums on seats here in the UK and whatever else. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, a Tommy Fury deliberately stalled on loads of different things. Of course, I mean, him not entering America, I mean, that's not his fault for sure. Uh, but, well, there again, is it? I don't know. I'm going to presume that it's not. Um, maybe he actually always wanted it in the UK. He never actually wanted to go to America. He wanted home field advantage. Knowing full well, if it goes to points, there's a real chance they ever give it to Tommy. Why? Because they want people like Jake Paul to stop masquerading behind being a boxer. They want to kick him out of boxing. And there was a time where Tommy Fury, I'd have heavily favoured him, to be honest. Honestly, I'd have heavily favoured Tommy. Now, no, I think Tommy is, I don't know, he, he, he's not very good. He, um, he isn't. I think his father, John, is quite clearly a useless trainer. Because he can't even get him to do the basics. He can't. Unless, of course, John is training him, and maybe he does do it in the gym, but on fight night, maybe Tommy don't do it. So maybe we're pointing the finger at the wrong person here. We don't know, but... Right now, honestly, I think I'll probably favour Jake Paul to not only beat Tommy Fury, but knock him out. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Couldn't really care less, to be honest. But anyway, what can you do? Jake, come around to the table, negotiate properly. Even though it's Frank Warren's team putting in the offer. <laughs> Tommy, you're an absolute knob. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.